guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Beatstars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Can I just say, it's really weird to have the show come out on the day it's supposed to be Saturday, because, I mean, I, I woke up, and I was like, okay, only thing I gotta watch today is No Guns, and I look, and I see this is out, and I'm like, this ain't supposed to be out till Saturday. So I'm like, okay, well, I get to see it a couple of days earlier. But it kind of makes me think that um, another episode is coming out this weekend, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. It's just a, because typically I've seen shows do this before because, like, uh, a show that I did last year, um, Boogie Pop and others. It had one show, one episode come out on, like, a Thursday, and then, like, two episodes come out on a Saturday. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And so people were like, oh, it's just trying to hurry up and get the show done, and da 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 I don't think they're trying to do that. I just think they probably want to put out two episodes this week. Maybe. But if they don't, it'd be nice to go ahead and watch it early. Several days earlier. <laughs> But if this does not have captions, I'm not watching this until Saturday. And there's a commercial. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and there's captions. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, Louis? Oh. Were you like Okay, I'm gonna be honest and ask, was he a part of like a slave trade or whatever? You were imprisoned. Oh! Oh. Oh. So I'm losing my slave trade. So they're going to take him instead, right? Hey, what are you eating? Seriously? Oh my god, are you fucking serious? So he's- oh my god. Oh, 
okay. Thank God that did not, you know, we. No, I thought he was going to fight. But hey. You're my son. Mm -hmm. From the first time he ever felt love. My God, I wasn't expecting that. Who would have thought that the dang deer would have like the tragic backstory out of all these dang characters? God, I don't even feel like it's been three months. Yeah, but um, you, you died before you could do it. You should have did it. And then you could have died. Yeah, we're going to talk about that because, um, because that shit was awkward. <laughs> You're in a crossroad. <laughs> Bill, will you fucking stop, you son of a bitch? Mm. Nah, he's not bum. I got confused. Hold on, is that Bach? Because but yeah, it has to be. I don't mind him. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that is definitely him. Uh. Cody, go lay down, baby. It's okay. Oh my god, you little attention puppy. <laughs> yeah, um, but Juno wanna become B Star and Damn. Yeah, that, that, that's definitely Bakugo. My husband, though. Oh. 
Well, yeah, I mean, he did punch you hard enough that, that I mean, yeah, Bakugo does that. Hi, Haru. Lift your butt up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> la 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 da And besides, like, you've only known her for almost, like, what, three months? Two months? Sorry. Beautiful puppy, big baby. I know you're at a crossroads, Harry. God dang. What 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 the freak, man? Come on now. And all that's left is the show. God dang. Wait, are you serious, guys? I mean, come on, man. Why the fuck she get kidnapped? She's in green. Are they like a gang? Yep, but hold on. What about Haru? They might kill her. See, you say that, but come on now. You're not going to really do anything. Haru's going to get killed. And then maybe, maybe... Legacy and Louise are going to have to go save her. Well, you're an asshole on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you get off of her?
Mm-hmm. Is that the mayor? I swear to God. Okay. Because it would have been a little fucked up if the mayor was into this. And I'd have been like, should have known. Please let her go. Just do it. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Say yes. Well, yeah, but you are still lying, and people are still going to fear you, even though if you had your freaking canine to take the fuck out. Because there are going to be lions that are going to go effective, like, against you. And then if he refuses, what you're going to do, release it to the public? That would be a really shitty thing to do. You know, Mr. Mayor, I kind of hate people like you. Not even kind of. I do hate people like you. People like you are the most corrupt of all. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Okay. Louis, get your ass out of the gutter and go see her.
well, honestly, this needed to happen. And I'm here for it. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I had a feeling like if he was gonna say that, Billy, but like if it, he's gonna take her from him. We all know that, and of course, Legacy is going to be the only one who's going to try to save Haru. Something bad is gonna come from this. I don't think. Um. No, you know what? Let me change that. I feel like Legacy's less really more of hunger it's gonna come out again or maybe finally his secret he's finally gonna tell Haru possibly before this show ends cause we probably how many more episodes do we have with this show like this is 9 10, 11, 3 is it 12 episodes or 13 I don't really remember okay but I'm glad that that fight happened they the <laughs> <laughs> the tension between these two, like, yes, we needed that. I do not want Haru to get killed and eaten by a bunch of lions. Please, no, don't. Let's just not have that. I mean, but, oh, God, if he doesn't do anything soon, Haru's going to be a dead rabbit, a dead bunny. And I don't want to see a cute little bunny with a white bunny covered in blood. I don't want to see that. Like, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She, she, she's too cute to kill. She's so freaking cute. It's a little badass at times. But there's no reason to kill her. I understand that, yes, there are people in this world who, well, I, I love how I talk about the animals as people because in a way they are still people even though they are animals at the same time. They act more human than, and some of them actually still act like they're natural born animals in the end. But with this gang of carnivores who are trying to eat Haru, I mean, bruh, I wasn't, uh, I don't know how to feel, like, I just want him to rescue her, but, I mean, he's gonna need help, he can't do it all alone, one little damn wolf ain't gonna do that much, but, uh, I mean, like, bruh, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, no, like, my doggo, he can't do that by himself, like, no, he need a whole bunch of other doggos, Maybe, you know, some leopards, <laughs> some tigers, <laughs> some bears, oh my. Anything, really, to help him. Because, I mean, how can you be so sure that, you know, saving Haru, it's going to be that successful? You never really know what the hell could happen next. But I also want to talk about Louise and all that that happened in the first, like, what, five, mi five maybe ten minutes of this episode? Holy shit, I wasn't expecting to have a past on him like that, like dead ass to know that this child this boy this man man boy child was in the black market that he was sold and that instead of him wanting to kill all the carnivores he was going to kill himself and oh my like you would have never assumed that someone like him would have had a tragic past and i even said this the first time when we first learned a little bit about him and how i was like okay yeah i think like, he you know Typically, like, the leader characters or even the nicest characters or the softest characters are the ones who have the most tragic backstories, typically in anime, I mean. But with him, I thought he was going to be different. I thought the ones that were going to have the tragic backstory was both going to be Haru and a little bit of Legacy. But no, I mean, damn, like, I really feel bad for this dude. And I would have never expected going back to the first episode like several weeks ago and then coming to this episode to know that this dude has the most fucked up backstory out of all these characters i mean but he he kind of reminds me of one character from um i'm gonna go a little spoiler territory into this game even though this game is not out currently for us it's kind of currently out in japan um persona 5r and specifically this girl named kasumi i'm not gonna go a little too into it but they're like i want to say 
the situations that they both go to are not heavily similar, but like they have a little bit of similarity to them, except they're different. They're very dark, but in two different twisted ways. His was more a black market, while Kasumi's was more of um, something that I can't really say that I would love to say. It has to deal with someone who she really loved and cared about. And it's just like, damn, you, you would never assume that someone so pretty as her or so, as pretty as him um, or really handsome as him would have a backstory just as tragic as that living, um, living this lie essentially for both of them, because in two different ways from Persona 5 R and B-Stars, they do live a lie and they're hiding, you know, their true feelings. They're hiding behind this mask. And the thing is, if this news comes out about him, it's going to break him. That means, you know, he might have to step down as becoming the next B star and someone else is going to have to rise up and that someone a little bit might have to be Juno. But I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, something's going to come out of this and I don't want him at the same time. I want him to go and be like, fuck it. I really, you know, I want to be the B star, but then at the same time, I care about Haru at the end of the day. He has feelings for her and he really cares for her. So I just kind of want to, I want him to go up to the mayor if the mayor is going to come and upset then to be like, fuck you. I'm going to go save her with legacy and I don't give a shit about what you're going to do. Whether you sell this to the tabloids, if something comes out about my secret that I've been holding out from everyone. And if I do become this beast star, that's when eventually when I'm ready to talk about it, let me go ahead and talk about it. But if it does come out, he's going to have to have, I mean, even as a high school student, he'll have to have like a press conference or something just to relatively address these issues. It's kind of really going when people run for mayor or for president or anything, all these things about their past come to light and they have to address all of these issues that so many things have come, uh, come out about them. And then next thing you know, people are like, well... Um, even though after I've heard so many things about this about you, I'm still either going to support you in my vote or I'm just going to turn my back against you and they're going to go find someone else better. But it really just, the cards are in his hands and it's, le um, not legacy, it's Luis's decision to do whatever in the world he wants to do. There are going to be consequences, good and bad, for whatever he chooses. If he chooses to go after Haru, his darkest secret comes out. If he chooses not to go after Haru, Haru potentially dies. So it's literally up to him, not to legacy, not even myself. It's up to him. And I just hope and pray that he chooses the right decision because, as I said, there are consequences in whatever the fuck he chooses. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 9 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match with Scott. And, of course, I will see you guys either maybe this Saturday for episode 10 um, maybe next Thursday for episode 10, or maybe even next Saturday for episode 10, because who freaking knows what the heck they're gonna do? I was surprised, like I said at the beginning of this episode, that, um, episode 9 came out today. I wasn't expecting it to come out today, because usually, it always comes out Saturday, so I don't know, because who the fuck knows? They might be, like, boogie popping others and be like, hey, here's another episode coming out on Saturday, but who knows? Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!